said, child, I know you're sorry for all that you have done. Just reach to me, for I am the
Amen. On the hill called Golgotha, they nailed him to a tree. It was there that our Savior was not ashamed. Now I'm an heir. Think about it. To the Father. Yes, sir. Join heir with his right. son. There's a crown of life away. Those that <coughs> overcome. And I want to thank hey, you, Jesus. Man. Thank you, Lord. For the time you set me free. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord. And an old time Christian is what I want to be. And I'm proud to be a Christian.
Oh. Uh-huh. 
first two grades that she said she wasn't feeling good. She was sick and she called and said uh, pray for Well, Barla took her to me and my family. I got a boy that was in the nursery and all that. He got some mold spurs in his neck, giving him a lot of trouble. I took her to me and got a grandbaby. It's a uh, cutting teeth. The little folks on the tank here and sick in body. I took her to pray for him. Refer all that. I wasn't going to mention this, but the Lord said, like, since you put it on my mind, uh, my PS test come back higher. And uh, got me on antibiotics to see if they can get it down. If not, I'll have to go through a lot of painful tests to see if it's cancer. So remember, please, if you got time to pray, let's go on. Yeah. Anybody else? Yeah. Uh, I was going to ask you about the
back to build us a mansion. I thought that it'd be a big house, a great big mansion, like the years. But just a place in heaven. He was you. He our life. Lord, let me peace. No more No more trouble. No more heartache. No more blues. All the people. I thank you for your Lord. Plan of salvation. Plan of the Bible. That we can live our lives. Lord, thank you very much. For everyone who's made it your way. Lord, bring your Lord. Man comes to bring the prayer of life. So pray to your Lord that you would be with him. Be now the wisdom of good. Give him the mind, dear Lord. Lord, the words that are written in this book. Lord, go down to these little hearts. Break up these old stony hearts. They're a master that we can eat from that hand on the high one more time and get our strength. I ask our Lord that you would bless all of our requests that went up before us. You know each one of us in the video. You know us by name. You know us by our looks. You know everything about us. And I pray, dear Lord, that you would bless according to your vision. I thank you, dear Lord, for this little church that's here beside me. Thank you, dear Lord, for the gospel that goes out. Helps the people, dear Master, to live our lives down through the week. And it gives us strength, a little bit more food from your bountiful table. And I thank you so much, dear Lord, for everything that you've done for us. And I pray, Lord, that you watch over our children. Help them, dear Lord, to open their eyes before it's everlasting too late. I pray, dear Lord, that you would bless the leaders of our countries. Help them, dear Lord, whether I like them or don't like them, it's our duty to pray for them. And I ask, dear Lord, that you would help them be a leader as we ought to be our children here, as we ought to be in the church. I thank you for everything that you've done. And leading our hand, holding us down through here, through this mire here below, troubles and trials that we go through, and you're right there on every hand. And I thank you so much. Two o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning, then we hours of the night time. I thank you, dear Lord, for being right there, mm -hmm. answering our prayers one more time. I pray, dear Lord, if if there's anything that we've done wrong that's contrary to your will, Lord, I pray that you would forgive us. Help us, dear Lord, to live our lives in a way that pleases you. And on that final day, dear Lord, I ask and I humbly beg to hear those welcome words. Come in. You're blessed with my Father. I thank you so much. I thank you for Brother Jamie, Brother Jimmy, all these preaching brothers, singers, everybody that put forth the effort to make this a great, a great church meeting down through the week. Go with us through this life. Stand by us in death. And I pray, dear Lord, when our time is done, you come back, however it is, that we meet in peace. In the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, I thank you. Amen. 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 Thank you. 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 Thank it come to my mind today, Brother Jamie, this little old scripture, and this is not really what I got on my mind this evening, but I want to go ahead and read this. And, uh, I feel like the Lord puts things on our mind. Brother Tommy, it, uh, we need to speak a little bit about it anyway and see where it goes. Uh, 
It's in the book of Luke, the 18th chapter, the 10th verse, if you want to read it all. Uh, two men went up into the temple to pray. This is the Lord speaking to the The one, a Pharisee, and the other, a publican. Mm -hmm. The Pharisee stood. Now, Pharisee, of course, that Pharisee religion, they, they believed in the resurrection and, and the spirit. Uh, but they had, boy, well, they was hard chilled. They were hard nosed and they didn't believe a lot of things, you know. And, uh, of course, the Lord knows all about that. And the other was a publican, and that's a tax collector. Pharisee stood and prayed, thus with himself. Man, that tells a whole lot right there, Brother Tom. A lot of times, if we get in the wrong frame of mind, our prayer don't get off the floor. But if we get in the right frame of mind and humble before all wise God and, and, and not think about what we've done and what we're trying to do or anything, right, say, right. can't do anything without you, Lord. Right. We've done all we know how to do is count ourselves unprofitable servants. And so this Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself. And he said, God, I think that he looked, notice how many times he says I. Mm -hmm. now, that's what the old devil done when he got in bad trouble when iniquity was found in him. I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. I thank thee that I am not as other men are. He's already not thinking about what he is. He's already thinking about somebody else, and that ain't up to us. God knows all about that. That's the worst problem with her. <laughs> that I am not as other men are extortioners, unjust, adulterers, or even as this publican. Boys, he's already looking down his nose at that little old publican man. Yes, sir. That ain't no good. God don't like that when you come before him like that. I fast twice, boy, look at our eye this and eye that. I fast twice in the week. I give tithes of all that I possess. And the publican, look how different this is. And the publican, standing afar off, would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven. Right. You ever felt like that way, Christian men and women? Absolutely. I was feeling that way just a few minutes ago. Yes, Knowing that I was coming before an all life God had already known everything about me. Yeah. Yeah. My very thoughts and my very intent. You think about that. If it wasn't for that grace, we couldn't make it for this time. Amen. And the publican standing afar off would not lift up so much as his eyes unto heaven, but smote upon his breast. It's like this. Saint God, be merciful to me, a sinner. Amen. Now I want Christian men and women to understand this, but I also, and this is on my mind, I want God's lost people to understand right. that's how close you are to God. Right. That the moment that you get to a point where that you just you know that you're not worthy. He said, come to me with a broken and contrite spirit at repenting in no wise while I turn you away. Smoking upon his bread, breast there. Think about it. God be merciful to me, a sinner. Mm -hmm. yes. Boy, that's simple and calm. God's a heart searcher. He ain't looking for fancy words or fancy actions. That's why that I act like a fool to the world last night. But to people yes, that sir. understand where I was coming from, I hope you did. I really do hope you understood where I was coming from last night because I've been telling you that's exactly the way that I came because God knows all about me and knows exactly what I needed to do right. and how to act and what to say. Right. He knows exactly Christian men and women for yes, every one of us that way. Right. And lost people, He knows exactly what you need. Right. Right. He knows exactly how you need to come. I've seen some Brother Tommy come there in tears and know them beforehand and know them afterward and know for surety that they give their life to the Lord. Think about that. And then I've seen some, Brother Chris, come and I mean swallow them like I do. Knowing what we've done and, and, and knowing that we was thankful that the weight was lifted up to sin and the cup that was covered by the blood of Christ. Think about it. <clears throat> God be merciful to me, sinners. I tell you, this is the Lord, red letters, he's just saying it. I tell you, this man went down to his house justified yes. rather than the other, for everyone that exalteth himself shall be abased, and he that humbleth himself shall be exalted. Yeah. And I'm telling you, there ain't no greater exaltation 
than being glorified by the power of God Amen. when we come to Him with a broken and contrite spirit. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. Uh, he that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever uh, that liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And that's a promise from the yeah. Word of God. And he means exactly what he says. Yeah. And you know what that little woman said in them scriptures there? She said, I believe that thou art the Christ, the Son of God, which should come into this world. And I'm telling you that I got to a point in my life that I believed that more than the next breath that I was going to receive. Yeah, that I got to a point to whether that God was going to take my life right then and there and I would be stone dead. That I wanted salvation down in my life and that's where people need to be. Brother Harvey to set it all aside. Everything, every weight of the sin that so does easily beset us and get in this race and run this race with patience. Look unto Lord Jesus Christ, the author and finisher of our faith. Right, 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 I want you to think about it. You all be in much power. I've got a few things on my mind and I may sit down. I may, the Lord may bless me to bring it forth. But whatever may be, there's brethren here that I'm sure the Lord can bless their mind and heart to bring forth something that this church can be edified, lifted up. And those that from the outside can hear word whereby that they can be saved. What you're looking at right now, friend, is less than nothing. I, I don't claim to be anything. And the favorite part of that song uh, that Sister Linda uh, sings about, that I don't care if anybody knows my name. And if anybody knows me, uh, personally, they know that's the truth. Uh, that's my favorite part of that song. Uh, but I know Jesus. I have listened uh, my personal Savior. And that's what I want for every individual uh, that's in this house this evening. Uh, to know Jesus uh, in part and remission of sin. Uh, that you can have manifold blessings in this life. And everlasting life to come uh, when life is over. Uh, what a promise that is. If we're one with them, then we're right there where they, where they want us to be, brother. Amen. I wrecked, and then when life's over, if we'll stay there, we'll get to go home with them. But one day after a while, it might be today, friend. But I thought, what a great deliverer my God is, that he can deliver when nobody else can deliver. And I thought about an old man a long time ago that was self-exalted in the old scripture. I never can never by name. And he thought that he was going to bring forth and to cause people to recognize uh, Brother Chris, his power and his authority uh, and his God's. Uh, but it didn't work out for him no way. I'm telling you the God in which we serve is greater than anything uh, down here upon this yeah. world uh, that mankind can imagine. Uh, God is God and he's above it all. And when this old boy, uh, he thought, well, I'll just build me a great big statue here of gold. Uh, and it was nine foot tall the carnal eyed people. Uh, when the sun raised up in that plane, uh, shining on that gold, it was bright and sparkling and shining. Uh, I'm telling you that we're serving a God uh, that's a pure God of light uh, and He's far brighter uh, than anything we can build out yeah, here to make. Uh, I'm telling you He's brighter than the noonday sun, as the Scripture said. And when they looked upon it, He said, I mean, you fellas look upon this. Uh, uh, this is what I want you to do. Uh, he called in a great crowd there of those special men uh, that was of his land, of governors and princes and sheriffs uh, and judges and all the big shots. Uh, and they was there. Uh, and they, uh, he thought, I'll show all my people of the big 
shots of how powerful that I am. Right. Yes, the Lord. What I choose is going to be law. It's going to be just what I choose. No, it didn't work out that way, Brother Jamie. And it ain't going to work out that way of nobody else or no other powers upon this earth. I put Jesus when he raised up from the dead. And he said, I've got all power in hell and earth. I've got the keys of death and hell. And I can lose you and set you free. And when you're free in Jesus, you are free indeed. I feel free this evening. Although I know this creature in this body of mine, this flesh, I dwell with no good thing. That's why I was a weeping there when I was bowed before all. It is by grace through faith that we are saved. I, I, not of ourselves, uh, at least any man should boast. Uh, it is a gift of God. Uh, it is the gift of God. Uh, it is the gift of God. That's where it comes from. A lost man, lost woman. Uh, he's got the gift of God here tonight, uh, and he wants to give it to you also. Uh, with everything that's in him, uh, for God so loved the world uh, that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever would believe, him. I should not perish, but have everlasting life. It's not God's will that any should perish. Yeah. He didn't come here and condemn the world. The world already condemned. He come that the world and everybody will believe in him should be saved. Amen. I'm telling you that old boy and he said it up there and he said, when you hear the music, I'm telling you all you tellers bow down not before it and worship it. And I'm telling you that was a great crowd there that day. And there was a great crowd in the world. And I'm telling you they're bowing down to the devil. Or still bowing down to the devil. If they're not bowing down to Jesus, they're bowing down to the devil. I'm telling you they're bowing down to mammon. They're bowing down to earthy. A lot of people like I was when I was a young man and the preacher preached it. I said, I'm not following the devil. I'm doing my yeah. own thing. I, when a man or a woman says, I'm doing my own thing, I, they're doing exactly what the devil yeah. wants. Yeah. That's your Charlie. Doing your thing is going against God. Amen. Here it was, boys, a spark mm -hmm. in the sunlight, Brother Paul. Mm -hmm. Every one of them old boys, mm -hmm. almost. Almost. Yeah, he got mm -hmm. down and went to bound to that old God. And don't you know there was tattletellers there in that bunch? Mm -hmm. what? Don't you know there's tattletellers in this world yeah. and trying to change laws? Uh, that's against Christian men and women, and they'll tell on you. Yeah. Yes, they will. They're watching. It's still going on. Hate crimes. Ain't nothing changed. That's right. Hate crimes. Ain't nothing changed. They'll tell on you. Right. I'm telling you that don't make it right, does it? No. Yeah, I'm telling you when the music played, bum, 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 bum. every one of them bowed down before that. And I'm telling you there's no three boys. I can just see them in the stand. Stuck out like a sore thumb. Yes, yeah. sir. Christian men and women sticks out like a sore thumb. Yeah. We're few in number. And I'm telling you the God whom we serve can take five and put a hundred to flight. <laughs> And he can take a hundred and put ten thousand to fly. Right. That's a God we serve. Right. Right. I'm glad I know him in part of your mission of sin. Right. I'm right. glad I can feel him down in my life. Right. I'm glad I feel what I feel right now. And if I could open it up and dip down here with a dipper and give it to the lost people, I would. Right. But it don't work that right. way. Right. And greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. And if I get creature out of the way, Brother Bill, that he can bring forth a message the same way that it reached me and you, and that it might be able to reach our loved ones here tonight. Well, how good that would be to take them down to the water and put them down in the water with Christ Jesus into his death and raised up to walk in newness of life. How good is that, Brother Tommy? We've got to do it a few times down through the years, ain't we? Not enough, but we've got to do it a few times. We want to do it more before we leave here. Whoa, glory. They went and told on them old three boys. How old can Nebuchadnezzar did you not make a decree that whosoever would not bow down to your gods and worship them, that you were going to put fire in the fire furnace and cast them in there. Yeah, I did. There's three old boys in Hebrew, Hebrew boys that didn't do it. And who are they? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I send for them, tell them come before me. Yeah. Amen. The devil don't like God's people. No, sir. He like to fix it, sin for them, and bring them before me. I like to throw every one of them in jail. I'd like to kill every one of them. He done that down through the
the centuries of time mm -hmm. through old wicked kings and Caesars and things. Think right. about it. Right. He's the same old devil that he always was. He's an entity. He's a spirit, an evil spirit going right. to and fro right. in the earth, in the earth, and up and down in the earth, seeking whom he may devour. He's sitting in the White House. I don't talk like that, Charlie. That's I'm right. telling you, he's sitting in the White House. You're a preacher, son. That's right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know the text there is not on. It's going to go right out there. Right, right. But you know what? I come right, again, right, and I say, glory to the Lamb of God. Right. He's worthy of all praise and glory and honor. And he is worthy that we've gathered together, as a brother said, I am a little small a congregation here at this little holler of Brush Creek here church uh, to worship our God in spirit and in truth. Right. Amen. Yeah. Well, them old boys come before him there. Hey now, boys, this way that works. Give you another chance. <laughs> Give you another chance. Are you got it? Hey now, boys, it, 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 did you understand this? Now, when the music plays, you just you just bow down. Everything uh, it'll be well. That's the word he used. It'll be well. He said, but if not, now this is the rest of the story, as Paul Harvey used to say, that I've done already made a decree that you be cast into the fiery furnace. Because I'm going to show my power here today yes, to all right. my people that if they don't do what I said, they're going to be burned up. Yeah, you didn't know what was coming. You didn't know what was coming. Yeah. Yeah. Had no idea. You're going to see the power. Them old boys still stand. Oh, King, we're not careful to answer you. In other words, we're not going to beat around the bush about this. Right. 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 until it just like it is. Just like what I said there a minute ago. Yep. Just like it is. Not to my opinion, but what God's Word says. If a man ain't living according to God's plan, he is not of God. He is of the dead. And he's sitting in the high seats all around this world. Yep. Not all of them. There's some good people there. God knows them. He knows those that belong to him. That don't give us an excuse uh, that we can bow down to them and worship them and do what they ask us to do. And uh, when it's against the things of God, we need to stand on the Word of God Amen. until the very last breath leaves us, uh, and that'll be all right. Uh, for one day after a while, uh, He'll give us that body that'll live forever. Right. And that's forever. Amen. In a peaceful place called mm -hmm. home, called yeah. Right. Yeah. Hey, listen, when He said that, hey, we're not careful to answer the old king. Uh, our God in whom we serve, He is able to deliver us. Uh, he is able to deliver us. Uh, he is able to deliver us uh, from the fiery furnace. Amen. And old King, He will deliver us from you. Amen. <laughs> and if He don't, if He don't, what, what's that telling us as Christians? God is able to deliver us. And he will deliver us from this wicked one day after a while. And I take my last breath. I'm delivered. Yeah. To be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord, which is far better. Yeah. But if not, the old boy said, we will not, plain and simple, bow down to your uh, golden image, nor worship your God. Right. That old boy's countenance changed real bad. Amen. Old Nebuchadnezzar, his face, God, I'm telling you, it looked like the devil. I tried to picture it every time when I'm reading it. I, I, it was from a, a pretty good or trying to talk a man to do what he wanted. So he'd look good in the eyes of the people. Bless you, so, hey, boys, get out there and you heat that furnace up. I'm telling you, seven times hotter than it need be. And you take the strongest men in my army here, big old br uh, brutes are, and you bind them up, uh, and you take and throw them into the fire in front of all these people that I hold, hi hold highly in my kingdom. Yes, sir. I want to show off here a little yes, bit. Yes, sir. I'm the boss. And they done it, Brother Tom. They bind them up. They faced for And I'm telling you, when they got close enough, that old furnace hit a roaring. Yeah. To throw them old boys in there, the fire leaked out and killed them big blue Amen. boys of the yeah. army. Yes. His soldiers mm -hmm. yeah. killed them strong dead in front of all those people. Can you see all those people of his servants? Brother Paul scratching their head and saying, looky here. Them boys, that's hot, boys. God's proven that this is hot. I didn't say just put on. This is hot. And it's killed them and they dropped dead because of the flames of that furnace. But listen, when them three Hebrew boys went in there, they had some.
something added to it. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you the God in whom they serve, uh, that hears everything and knows everything, uh, I looked right down and said, I'm going to deliver God. them. Yeah. Personally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Personally. <laughs> Do you know that same God is here tonight, Brother mm -hmm. Tom? Amen. Do you know that He can deliver our people from Amen. the world of sin and to deliver the light of the Lord Jesus Christ? Yes. He wants to. And He wants to real bad. Yes. But you know He won't do it unless you ask. Do you know what them old boys was doing, Brother Chris? They was a praying. They was asking. Yes. You've got to ask for yourself and faith Amen. believing right from your heart. Broken and contrite spirit. Right. Repenting before an all-wise God. Um, that's what I was talking about from the beginning there. That old boy that was self-exalted said, I'm going to do it my way. It don't work my way. He works God's ways. What does he want? Hey, Holy Father, bless you, Charlie. Oh, Holy Father, have mercy on your boy here. He went away home justified. Man, it's good to go home justified, ain't it? Yes, sir. I'm telling you, when I gave my life to the Lord 36 years ago, almost 37, that I went home justified and I was free as a breeze. Uh, I didn't right. have a way to sin on me no more. Amen. And I'm telling you, every time sin started creeping up, I know what it was. Uh -huh. And I know who to turn to. I did always win against sin. No, no, and you won't neither. Right. You will fall flat to your face. And that we got an advocate with the Father, which is Christ Jesus, which is just to forgive us Amen. of every sin. All of our sins, it will come in the right with a broken and contrite spirit. Amen. Every time, brothers. I mean, you talked about that several years ago. Oh, devil, will tell us, bro Brother Harvey. Yeah. Ah, <coughs> you messed up too bad. You're going to go to hell where I'm going. Make, try to make you quit. That's what he's done. Lying like a dog. He's a lying father. Amen. Make you quit. Yeah, that's All the time, Brother Bruce. Yeah. God's people quit. Give it up, Brother James. But greater is he that's down inside of us than he that's in the world. And his name is Jesus. Amen. And that old king got in a hurry because he seen something miraculous. For one thing, he saw them old boys walking around. And he got down a little closer. Not too close, though. It's hot, boys. It's still hot. Can you see him looking in there? I can. Hey, my servant. Over under. He wanted to make sure, didn't he? Right. Did wait. not we cast three in the fiery furnace? Yeah, old king, live forever. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, I see more than three. I see four walking around loosed. Yeah, I'll put that in there, brother yeah. Tommy. He put that in there, loosed. What's that mean? Free as a breeze. Amen. They still stand just like they was when they went yeah. back. Yeah. We're serving a real life God that knows Amen. everything, and He is a God of the livers. Amen. Bless you, brother. Some of the sons said, Forever promised. He walked over there. He said, Boys. He said, Come out of there. What did he start talking about that fourth one there? He said, hey, That fourth one. He looks like the Son of God. Right. How do you know what the Son of God looks like? Amen. Just a little while before that, in the chapter 2 before Brother Tom, Great. he Great. had a dream of a vision of the kingdoms of this world at that time that was already started and was going to come to an end. And he saw that stone that was hewn out of the mountain right. of that man had come rolling down to Babylon. Right. consume them. Amen. Brother Jamie, about 36 years ago, I was consumed because I wanted to be. I come out of the dark kingdom. He tore it all to pieces. For me, it's still here. But he tore it all to pieces. They over there in the old scripture of Isaiah, when it's talking about Lucifer, if I remember correctly down through there so far without going through all of it, I need to get out of the way. I'm telling you that God was revealing to us a long time ago and that this old entity I called Lucifer at that time but no more because that's a good name you give him some other names, didn't he? Right. Old serpent, dragon, devil, 
Satan? Well, he wanted to stop it. Because he fell from God's grace and the mm -hmm. didn't stand me. And it says, he would not <coughs> let those that was in captivity in his house go free. Bless Lord. Would not never let those that was in captivity in his house go free. Right. He's still got a house here. Not, sure not here in this here church. No. no. In this world, he's got a house. It's called the kingdom of darkness. Yes. Yes. He's a strong man, as you said. But the stronger man that dwells down inside of us, that's here in this world and all power in heaven and earth is his. He is able to go down in your house, lost man and lost woman, and bind him up and cast him out. How far has he cast him out? You're looking at it. Right. Yeah. flesh. Right. That's a sin. Cleans it out on the inside with the Father, the Son, and Holy Ghost can dwell down in there and help you every day of your life uh -huh. to make it from here to heaven. Uh -huh. For Jesus said, I am the way and the truth. And if the way and the truth is down inside of you, He done already delivered you from the kingdom of darkness. And He has consumed you and brought you into the kingdom of life. Amen. That's what we want to happen to you tonight. Right. With all of our hearts, soul, strength, and mind, we want that to happen. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's a deliverer. He delivered them old boys. And you know what that old king said? Come out of it. Yeah, preach it, Jim. And God, when he delivers, he does it so magnificent that it's up and beyond it's our understanding. And I can see them old boys who Sniffing them, old boys. Why, you can't even smell smoke on them. Amen. Their coats is not wrinkled and burned or crunchy or anything has happened to them. Nothing, no higher sins, nothing wrong with them. Not even smell smoke. All of those high and mighty men of his kingdom saw the power and the working of God Almighty, and they saw the weakness of Nebuchadnezzar. But so even Nebuchadnezzar said, He's changed my words. <laughs> Words of what? The words of the devil, brother. The words of the devil is, you can't do this, and you can't do that. But God said, you can, and if you'll follow me, you will. Amen. That's positive terms. Absolutely. I like him shouts too, brother. I do tell you. Shall be able to do this, he shall be able to do that. He shall be able to enter into that life eternal in heaven's country because he said it, I believe it. Now, it yeah. just, you know, just because I, I believe it don't make no difference. But I believe it. I want people to know I believe this. Uh, yeah. Yes, sir. To the saving of my soul. I want other people to believe this to the saving of your soul. Yes. Lord have it. And you know what that old king down, I'll try to shut up. I had some question on mine, but I'm, 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 I'm a cranky man. My Lord. Yeah, you got the time for it, Jerry. He said to God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, He is God. And He said, I make a decree of the law in my name. Yes, sir. That if any nationality, any tongue says anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I'll cut them into pieces. I'll make their house a dung hill. I'll destroy them and their family. Amen. That put some fear in them all. Yes. Will it save them? No. No, no but it sure helps Christian men and women. A, law. Law. So, a good law don't it help Christian men and women. There's only way, one way you can be saved. That is to hold it in man is to fear God. Keep his commandments. Right. Meaning that if you the beginning of wisdom, if you will fear God, he starts to take notice, brother, not the heart of it. He starts taking notice to a person that's got fear. Why, Brother Paul? Because they get faith. They're starting to believe. Yeah. Well, just like me, I said, now this might sound funny. I said, my life. My brother. It's for I was saved. You know, God, if you're really real, it started with an if. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's okay. God understands that. But Paul, if, if you're really real, man, I'm in bad shape. Because if you're really real that you're a true God and what you said is going to come to pass, and I'm telling you I can read in there and see by even studying history, Brother Jackie, that things that God said in the Bible has come to pass in history. Mm -hmm. 
They're talking about the true history of God's Word. They're talking about natural history. I started weighing all that up, Brother Tommy, for himself. And I said, boys, this is just too close. God's talking about this. And this was a long time before these things come about. And they've come about. Why don't the teachers at school teach this? I started thinking about things like that, young man. Why ain't I heard more about this? God this world. The world has no part with the God in whom we serve. That's why I say, come ye out from amongst the world and be ye separate for I am God. And beside me no other son. Amen. Think about it. And he made that decree that he would kill every one of them. Thank you. Think about that. So he'd give honor in front of all of his mighty men that day. But this God is with him. This God is powerful. And you fellas don't bother with Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They'll right. do their own thing and we'll be all right. That's right. <laughs> May God bless you with my prayer. Come on, guy. Maybe he'll talk about some more deliverance. <laughs> I had some thoughts on my mind. Bless your heart. I love you, buddy. Glad you're here. I ain't gonna be up here. I ain't gonna lie to you. You've done good. Bless him, real good. I'm gonna read and you take your time. I, I, I'm, I'm gonna mind the Lord. I, I'm not gonna be feeling that need to come up here and plot my way every night. I'm not that way. <laughs> I'm all right. I want to read this. And I want this to go to the lost people that's in this building tonight because you have heard the word of God preached tonight. Right, and that's right. an open invitation. When you hear God's word preached all the time in the power and the demonstration of the Holy Spirit, that is God bidding you to come to an altar of prayer and be saved. Yeah. Ezekiel 33. And again the word of the Lord come unto me, saying, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. Right. Yeah, I'll take it he heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood, your blood, shall be upon him. But he that taketh not warning shall, shall but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, the people will not be warned. If the sword come and take away any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Yeah. So if you leave here tonight and you die lost. Charlie Lucas is free from your blood and he'll be on your own head. Right, right. Give a song. <laughs> I'm done, son. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know you need to be Don't feel bad. You need to be used to me. All right, I did too, so come on. Thirty-eight. Ankle hearts, come on. Glad you're here tonight. Appreciate it. If there's a one leave here tonight, lost. And you die before you make your calling and election sure, your blood will be upon your own head because you hear the word of God. God, you, God give you an open invitation. Right. Now what are you going to do with this man called Jesus? Well, if they sing, if they be one or more here that will give your life to the Lord, don't you know that, don't the Lord knows that. Uh, come up and let it be not. He takes care of the proper way. God bless. I'm going to tell you something, the lie of the devil will tell you, and I know these young people here that might not know the Lord, the devil will tell you that you're too young and God won't be able to take to keep you all them many years. He's a liar. So Paul, the Lord saved me when I was 21 years old, and he's kept me for 31 years, and I figure if I live another 31, He'll keep me right on. Right. But you don't have to be young and lost here tonight. You can be up in age. God will save you no matter. Uh, when, when, as long as you're lost and he's calling you, he intends to save you. Yeah. So listen, That's right. don't go home tonight unsaved. Don't go home tonight and something happen in your life and your blood be upon your own head right. because Thank you God. did not heed the word of God when a man blows the trumpet of all the other. God bless. 
All the same, if you're ready for the church, come over and let me know. Yes, Lord. So wretched and vile was I in sin, with no way to make my soul clean. But I found a There's somebody here tonight that's counted up the calls. You, you figured out oh, that Jesus is all you need. You're ready to be a Christian and you want this church to know about it. Why don't you move from where you are right now?
compare it. Now Jesus with your mama, to see. with your mama, with your daddy, with all you to make things right. And there has to be a starting point in your life. Right? And that's up to you when that starting point is. The devil's trying to call you out that starting point tonight. But it could be tonight that starting point. That I'll never I promise you, it'll make a difference. Bring a friend, come back. Brother. 